Alright, welcome back to the darkest place on YouTube. If you are new here, my name is Curtis. Hello, Curtis. <laughs> Today's video is down one of the darker alleys of the influential world. Influencers who will do unpleasant things in order to gain attention and fame. A common phrase people would go by is bad clout is still clout. And there are many, many people who have gone by this. People like Greg Jackson, aka Noncion, Jacqueline Paul in the past, and sometimes maybe even Trisha Paytas. Today's story, however, is a lot deeper than you'd expect. An influencer known as Lovely Peaches, who had the rise of fame in 2017, when she was only 16 years old. Peaches is now 18 years old and given birth to a beautiful baby named Cora when she was 17, but more about that later on. This is an influencer who really decided to step over the line and push the human boundaries way too far for attention. But first, let's take a look at where it all began. Welcome to Behind the Lies of a Deceiving Influencer. Viewer discretion is warned that there's a lot of horrible discoveries in this video, but without further ado, do follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, please hit the like button if you appreciate my voice, and subscribe to get me to the end of year goal, which is 40,000. Then, maybe my nan will actually talk to me again. Now for lovely Peaches. She's one of those influencers on Instagram that you would call a comedian. She'd sometimes make silly humorous noises on her Snapchat stories, which honestly sounded like a zoo at times. At the time, she'd make a few jokes which seemed to make her audience laugh on live streams. She would also pretend to have arguments with herself back and forth forth and actually end up beating herself in a comedic way. Oh, if only that was the same for all of us. I beat myself every time I put my pants down at 2am. <laughs> uh, moving on. But she did seem like a genuine funny person at times, and being the key words there, however, Peaches took a slightly different approach. She also had another kind of persona on Instagram which I like to call shitty comedy. Literally. But on a serious note, some of her posts should never even be allowed on the internet. It's also the reason why a lot of people know about her. You know, she'd, uh, she'd post pictures of her eating. Oh, goodness. You know what? I'm about to say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> this created a storm on her profile, but she still continued to do it because of the negative attention she was getting. And as I said before, Bad clout is still clout in some eyes. And I guess this kind of graphic content would appeal to some people, I guess, that don't really think straight. Um, I'm not sure who's into that kind of stuff. I don't know if there's a, you know, like a, a type of porno you can watch. We're just gonna move on, actually. She'd also post videos of her drinking her own toilet water without context. But even after posting those kind of videos, she somehow claims to have 11 boyfriends, which I'm pretty sure she is shit talking. Oh, damn, I didn't mean it like that. Regardless, here's a clip. It's your relationship, are you single or is you taken? I'm taken because I have like 11 boyfriends and they're all madly in love with me and would die for me, yada yada yada. But what's your relationship status? Period. Oh, I'm surprised she claims to have one, let alone 11. But what is the definition of a boyfriend exactly? A regular male companion which you have a romantic connection with. However, that definition doesn't match peaches. <laughs> What's wrong? You okay? You okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? What is wrong? Now, do I think they were both trolling for attention? Absolutely. This isn't the first time she's done this. But something else which made me feel really uncomfortable is the fact she makes out with her dog on a regular basis. She's done this many times on Instagram live stream. And when I mean kissing, I don't mean in a, in a loving way or, or a regular way. I, I mean, she was literally Louisiana steamboat in a dog. Literally. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is classed as animal cruelty or not, but I was stupid enough to search it on Google, wasn't I? Not a good look for me, really, is it? But this is two different sides to the influencer. You have one side which is really comedic, and then the other side which is just extremely questionable. However, in her current Instagram account, she actually has a lot of listed backup accounts in her bio. Which, you know, I'm not really surprised considering the lot of content that she posts. However, I'd now like to dive into the topic of Peach's daughter, which is the biggest cause of worry and concern around this influencer. And with that said, let me take you on a trip to the dissection of manipulation, which is actually a segment I have on my channel. And at the end, I'll be revealing the alleged truth and what is really going on behind closed doors which a lot of people aren't aware of. Now, time for the dissection of manipulation. Because the nicest thing about hypnosis... <laughs> So 
So, welcome to the dissection of manipulation, where I dissect manipulators and show them for the true scum they really are. Now let's talk about Peach's daughter, Cora. She announced that she was pregnant on Instagram and everything seemed fine for the first couple of months. She was posting pictures on Instagram claiming how much she loved her child, but then suddenly everything changed. And as mad as this sounds, but she actually claimed that her four month year old baby was trying to start a fight with her. She was talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. So once I get that camera, I, I ain't finna stunt, you know, if I got my camera out, best believe it's finna go down in this bitch. So, she started crying or whatever, and I'm like, they ain't gonna save you now, she talk all that shit, but you can't fight, and I got the camera out. After that clip was uploaded, shortly after, she released a video of trying to catch her child trying to fight with her, and as you'd expect, Nothing happened. Fuck you, bitch. Stupid ass bitch. Bitch. Oh, now you ain't gotta say shit, bitch. You say something again, I'll pop you in your fucking face, ho. Now, obviously, this isn't true. At the age of four months old, I was still shit in my nappy. Then again, I still am. Now, no one really took notice to this. Everyone assumed that she was trolling again, just like the way she argues with herself for comedy. However, everything began to escalate. She would release more and more stories ranting about Cora to the point where she actually went on her Instagram story and told everyone that she wanted to kill her own child, but not just told them, also how she would do it. I want her stomach to be right here. I just want to take the knife and just, you dirty, disgusting bitch. You disgust me. Make me sick. As you can imagine, this caused a lot of worry around Peach's fan base, which was built from comedy. Everyone quickly began to worry in fear of Cora's life. People were even signing petitions to get Peaches investigated by the police and also to get Cora new parents, considering Peaches' intentions with her own child to harm her. Now, considering she was threatened by the police, you'd think she'd stop there, but sadly, it only got worse. I am so happy right now because I'm going to kill my own baby. Um, I've already made people have sex with her and I'm going to kill her tonight. Cora is not a virgin. Um, I made sure that she lost fan a few months ago. You know what I'm saying? Guys, I just made $150 because I sold Cora to sex traffickers. <laughs> That's why you was raped, sex trafficked, molested, and beat at only four months years old, ho. <laughs> In that clip, she claimed to sell her child to older men for money, which is honestly sick. You are not fit to be a parent if that's the case. And when she received the money of $150 for selling her own child, she tried to make it seem as if it was some sort of laughable situation. Spoiler alert, I did not laugh. The only time I have laughed watching your videos is when your Instagram got shut down. This story began to get a lot of attention on social media, where people were tweeting about it on Twitter, talking about it on Instagram, even influencers tweeting about it. People started a hashtag save Cora trend, and that's when this happened. I killed my baby. I strangled that hoe to death. I had her molested when she was only four months. That bitch got raped numerous times. I was having her pimped out. I put her in the sex trafficking and I killed that bitch when she got smart at the mouth. <laughs> Deuces, little bitch. So allegedly, Peaches killed her own child and saying some really, really, really disgusting things live on live stream. Peaches spread it all over her social media accounts how she killed her own child and how she done it. She was even tweeting about it, posting on her Snapchat stories, posting on Instagram saying rip Cora, making it very believable that she killed her own child. Now it seems we are approaching darker places. Is. But actually, there's a plot twist. This is when everything gets a lot more interesting. And then questions began to arise. How is Peaches getting away with this sort of thing? Well, what if I told you Cora was never in danger to begin with? What if Peaches never even had custody over her child in the first place? Now I think it's time to talk about what really happened. The big build-up of last year, how allegedly Peaches was attacking her own child, abusing her on a daily basis, selling her to old men. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the conspiracy of Peaches and Cora. Alright, good evening everyone, welcome to the Chamber of Conspiracies. Now, as previously discussed, I mentioned that Peaches may not even have custody over Cora in the first place. Well, firstly, let's actually judge a book by its cover. Until this day, she still posts pictures of Cora. She also claims that she 100% had custody over her. And she also claims that she's 100% dead. Well, 
Let's debunk some of this shit. Now, after all the concern that was risen, an influencer known as Candy Johnson actually made a tweet regarding the situation. And she claims in a tweet that apparently her friend was in contact with the FBI. This is what she had to say. On the 25th of October, 2018. Okay, guys, I didn't really sleep. Had nightmares all night. I've spoken with my friend who talked to the FBI. Called the investigator on Brittany Peaches Johnson's case. They said she's not allowed to be with Cora and hasn't seen her in months. Police are looking for her. Hashtag save Cora. So according to that, tweet. While Peaches was making all these accusations that she was attacking her own child, even saying that she was selling her own child to sex traffickers, Cora was never even in her possession in the first place. Oh, you really were trying to dig yourself a hole to China, wasn't you, Peaches? Hashtag save Cora. Update. I just got off the phone with the investigator, who was so kind on the Peaches case. Eight months old, Cora is with her grandparents, who have legal custody. Peaches has not seen her baby since March or April. Peaches ran away from a safe home, and she has not been found. And the main point being is, Cora Cora is safe and she's not in harm's way. So it does seem everything Peaches has said up till now has been complete and utter shit. Apart from the shit she was eating of course. But we won't talk about that on this channel because... Just... And what I do find extremely humorous is that if you ever made a tweet about Peaches not being allowed on the platform, typically you receive a DM of her calling you racist. Oh. And as you can see the DM on screen, Peaches is, uh, you know, calling this lady a racist because she said she shouldn't be allowed on the platform. Keeping in mind, you know, after all, she does drink toilet water, she has made out with a dog, and she's done worse things, which I'm not going to mention because I'm having food later and I just can't bear the thought of, you know, someone else. Yeah. Hang on, but wait a second. I'm making a video on Peaches, therefore that should make me a... Here I am, officer. I'm the culprit. Take me in custody. Now leaves the final question. How did I catch my willy in the fun? Why did Peaches start these rumours in the first place? Now a lot of people speculate that Brittany, aka Peaches, does deal with a lot of mental health issues. And also leading back to my point earlier on how I said some people do in fact go by the bad clout is still clout method. And it's pretty clear that she did do a lot of this to gain a lot of attention. Now listen, I'm no doctor by any means. Unless you need a vaginal exam then, you know what I am. Have a day off, Curtis. But genuinely, now, I'm no doctor, okay? But I could find something which, you know, does in fact link attention seeking with mental health. Let's have a look what I found. It's a mental health disorder called histrionic personality disorder, which is characterized by a pattern of excessive attention seeking emotions, usually beginning in early adulthood, including inappropriately seductive behavior and excessive need for approval. But, you know, that could possibly be what Peaches had, considering she's attention seeking on social media and she's struggling with mental health. But, Hey, I'm no doctor. Just take it with a piece of salt. Or a grain of salt. Sorry. Pinch of salt. Whatever. So to close the video, it does seem that Cora is in fact safe and she was never in harm's way in the first place. Which is really, really good news considering what we spoke about only six minutes ago about the horrible stuff that Peaches has been saying on livestream. But if anything ever does happen in the future, I'll happily cover it. Just send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram. Uh, the links will be in the description. And also leave a comment if you want me to update you guys if anything ever does happen. But yes, that is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And of course, or subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you all in my next video peace uh, most of the time when these people be talking I don't even hear them they talk and they talk but I do not hear shit when I'm near them I